And by the same token, if you roll forward and cut throttle, you have two fingers right there to cover the brake. So for a lot of the way I ride, I'm typically riding, I'm holding the throttle like this. I'm making a peace sign. And I've got two fingers out on the brake, specifically in traffic or a lot of times on track so I can modulate my braking, my deceleration as well as acceleration. Again, so throttle, brake. So you should be able to at any point, if you were sitting on the bike and the engine was running, you could give it throttle and make it stop. Give it throttle and make it stop. Right there, that's go, that's stop. Again, that's stop for everything that's on pavement and on the track, right? I, I have to interrupt. Sorry, you guys, unless you're further than six feet, if you guys can please have your face mask. Uh, at the trailer. There's a bunch in the truck. Sorry, throughout the day we just have to do this. Thank you. It's still COVID. Uh, congratulations, Jordan. You are the fastest today. Some states it's still COVID, some states not. Just depends on where you're at. California, next level COVID. Everybody saw that, Dana. Well, I definitely recorded it. Here's the deal. Lily is uh, racing today. This is the lineup. She's got first pole position, so we're hoping she finishes strong right out front. That ain't fair. Have a kill switch. Yours is broken, but they also have a key way down here. You reach down here forward. There's a key. That's on. That's off. So I want you to reach down and find the key. Grab it and turn the bike on and turn the bike off. So there's the key down below. So grab a hold of that and rotate it forward. So when it's in its vertical position, down here, when it's in its vertical position, the bike is off. When it's rotated forward, the bike is on. Okay. The other element that unfortunately, Lulu, Lulu doesn't have a working kill switch. I don't have one either. I don't have the phone. Okay. That's all right. So some of them have been removed because they've been crashed. If you have an actual working kill switch, up is off, down is in the run position. If you don't have another kill switch, it's going to be the R6 Panda, I see you. What up, Corey? Somebody said hello. Event you come off the bike, R6 Panda, whether it's on pavement or it's out in the dirt, the first thing you need to do yeah, is make sure you're safe and you're clear, right, so that you're not in danger. If there's no one around, the first thing you got to do, the bike may still be running. The last thing we want to do with a bike that's laying on the ground and running, if you grab it by the handlebar, you're, you're liable to whiskey throttle the thing. Now we do the mini bike rodeo. <laughs> bike back out on track for someone else to run into. Mm. So if you come off the bike, number one, assess yourself and get out of harm's way. Number two, you can safely that get to the bike. The first yeah, thing you're going to do the bike. Trying to be quiet. Off, whether it's the key down during the road, his rider's or brief. The switch on the bar. Use the key or the kill switch to make sure the engine is not running. Does that make sense to everybody? It becomes a big issue because if we don't do that first, and it's hard to think of when you're panicking. Oh my God! I just came off the bike, you want to go pick it up and get it out of harm's way, you could make a bad situation worse. So number two, in the event someone goes down, if it's a friend or a child, somebody that you know, it's your job to point at them and laugh as you ride by with them on the ground. You cannot stop. <laughs> because to stop, we have one bike and a rider potentially on the ground. If you stop, now we have two bikes and two riders there. If you look at the tree, where do you ride? In the end of the tree, now we have a group of people on the track. You're going to be looking at them. Where are you potentially going to ride? Right into them. And we have a potential to make this a very complex situation. So please, child, mother, father, girlfriend, boyfriend, point at him and laugh your ass. Excuse me, laugh your butt off as you go. Ha, 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 ha. So you have to practice that laugh. Very <laughs> so the whole point is you have to get that in your head ahead of time. Come off the bike again. Make sure you're safe. You're clear. You can 
get to the bike, make sure that the key is off, or the wheel switch is off, so the motor's not running, pick it up and get it out of the way. If you're riding by laughing at your friend, child, girlfriend, mother, or father, raise your hand so that somebody out here, we potentially have seen it, and somebody may be hustling way out to help them. You can raise a hand, point at them and laugh, ha, 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 raise your hand so we know that somebody's down and there's a problem that we need to come and address. Does that make sense? Well, yeah, don't laugh hard enough to bring a tear to your one good eye and then you crash, right? Okay, so if this is, if throttle is go, and here is stop on pavement, I've got a key up on top, you guys have your key down below, we know where the kill switch is up on the bar if we have that. Coming off track, our rear brake is right there with the right foot, so everybody put your right foot up on your peg, right foot, other, other right, the other right, there you go. Right foot up on the peg and push down on that rear brake. That's the rear brake. So if you're going to go off into the dirt, you're going to want to let go. No, no throttle, no front brake. It's all rear brake. Keep the bike vertically aligned with the horizon. So we have a 90 degree right vertical to the horizon. You want to get the bike up straight and it's rear brake at that point. And often, if you come off track, the bike has its own suspension. Dirt bike riders already know this. You have a second set of suspension, they're called your legs. You won't see a dirt bike rider sitting down for very long. So you can modulate your body weight so the bike is only responding to one event, which is the topography of the ground. And you have a second set of suspension. So quite often, if you go off track, it's not necessarily that you're going to crash. Get your butt up off the seat. Don't grab the front brake. Use the rear brake and slow down, ride through it. And you can, quite often, you can come right back out on track. Okay. Um, the other element that's going to take place out there is these bikes are all, there's no clutchy thing. These bikes are all, they have a centrifugal clutch on them. We're going to ride on track today with all the bikes in third gear. So if you reach down with your left hand and roll the bike back and forth and pull up, you'll feel it go into first gear and now it won't roll. It won't roll forward. So you reach down, roll the bike back and forth until you pull up and it should want to come to a stop. Do you feel it? Yeah, there it goes. It came to a stop. Okay, keep pulling up and it'll go into second gear. Roll it back and forth. And pull up one more time and you'll be in third gear. That's high gear on those bikes. That's all you've got. So we're going to ride all day today on track in third gear. You will not be shifting on track. You're not going to be down shifting to second or first and back up. We ride all day long in third gear because you're going to have so much to think about. With body position, throttle control, and visual cueing. That's what makes these great training bikes. You don't have to worry about the clutch. When you get clutch and gear shifting and that involved, this becomes much more complex. So we try to keep this at a basal level so we all are successful with our body position, throttle control. Okay, by the same token, if we're off track and we're over here doing drills, we typically will have two drill stations set up. The bikes that are over there will only be two bikes. They will be in second gear. So if I'm in third and I roll the bike forward, I can feel it click. Now it's in second gear. If at any point you're going to take a bike from the drill area and go run on track, please be sure to pull it up into third gear. Because you'll be out on track and you go, why is everybody going by me so much more quickly? Because they're in third gear, you're in second gear. Potentially you burn the motor up. It makes it run really hot if you run around all day wide open throttle in second gear. Okay, just laughing. He's obviously jealous. <laughs> I hate that when I look back and I'm in low and I should be in drive. Right when you round turn one. 
So you want to make sure the pet cock is in the on position. Okay. Um, the mic, did we fill the bikes with gas this morning? They're all gassed up. Okay, so the bikes are all fueled up. For those of you with kickstarts and you want to use the that kickstart, it's bad. on. So again, for you guys, you down low on that key, no, I didn't. it's in the forward position. Yeah. So I'm not a, I'm not a moderator. It's vertical, it's off. Are you one vet rider? Yeah, 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 yeah. On the bar, you're going to want that kill switch. Oh, no, down I, down looked, I looked at it. I was trying oh, to read it. That's the off position. Right, how do I, how do I put it back? He is on, pet cock is on, kick hand up. This is for people with a kickstart. Give it a little bit of gas and give it a kick when you're in. A Blaze R3 ride. Rewrite your message. Somehow Corey but but deleted you. I didn't mean to. I was trying to get it back. Yeah, yeah. Okay. For the rest of us that don't have the luxury of a kickstart, what you're going to do is you'll pull this thing up to the third gear. So you're going to roll it back. There's first. Lift up. There's second. I was in the middle of reading. Okay. Wow. So remember that you got the problem right there. If you give it a little bit of gas and it, and it gets you, you have the brake right there. Grab the brake. So it's very common that people will go to go push start the bike the first time and they get it running, but they've got the throttle open and they're running along behind the bike and the bike rides itself and they hit the ground face down. So you typically don't do a push start drill until you have gloves and helmets. If you go down, <laughs> you gotta rewrite the comment. Next time, Blaze Rider. I got you. When we get in drills, it's the very first primary basic element of riding. I want all of your feet on the peg up against the engine case. You don't want to see this where it's all your foot at the end of the peg. You're going to do the same darn thing. So, all of your feet on the peg. Unsubscribe your mask from your face. You can grab your helmet and gloves. I think Young has something. Actually, before we go into that, I think you asked me there's something like that. There's something that's like um, You're not necessarily going to be riding the same bike throughout the day. Yeah. And so we talked about some of the different street car bikes and some of the still switch
Go ahead, we're going to grab helmets and gloves. We're going to go do a lead follow on track. Uh, we're going to do a all right, Lily, you get all that? They've already done it. So it's you excited? Lulu and I have our helmets on. No, not excited. All right, fine. It's hot, hot already. Hot? Yeah, Lily about to lose that weight. Yeah. She got them yesterday at uh, Orange County okay. store. They had them. Yep. She had, she got some small ones. Better get that credit card too. So is, is Paige joining the Rider Clinic? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay, awesome. Personally, I think you should have just. Personally, I think you should have, Dana. I do. We don't have a suit either yet. Uh oh. Um, can we give me a chair? Move right up to the chair. All right, I'm back. Sorry, no intro. I was uh, listening to the riders meet meeting right there. Uh, bad peanut killing the game or what? Ba this is bad peanuts first. First time on a track, so she probably will not be killing the game. Yeah, Dana's not Dana's not ready today. Daniel M said Lily looks like a pro. Wow, that got her a smile. Good job, Daniel. Next ride for Lily, 2020 Jigster 1000. Good, you're all suited up. Lulu, you ready to try a push start? Up. Wow, look at Corey. Oh, I forgot you already got all kinds of kids. I was going to say, well, look, you look like a perfect father. But I forgot you got like 10 of kids already. Four? Yeah, you're almost there. That's all you're going to do. And just stand up and give it a little run and then stand up. Got to get that real, real turn. That's the track I want to get on over there. That's the big one. Could you uh, carry the stream over to the chair? Yeah. She almost fell over. <laughs> I will. Where are you going? You going that way or over here? All right. I'll bring your chair over there. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that delete, guys. I didn't mean to. What's up, SJ? I was looking at that super chat, and I don't know how my finger hit that one. I'm so sorry, guys. What's up, Hit? 
good ride with you the other day. Okay. Yeah, thanks, Rad. I appreciate it. What's up, Ian? Name got changed, not Jixxer 600 more guys, sorry. But thanks, John, I know, I see you. I'm one vet rider now, guys, because that name was too long, and plus you guys want shirts, so I'm trying to make it easier to make shirts out there for you guys. Oh, yeah. So look at this, we got front row seat, look at this. Front row seat to the starting line of the track. He's gonna be right there as they walk out the gate. We chilling right here. So he's a he's a perfect prime position to see the first low side at a turn four. <laughs> Wait, what happened? She was ran in the back of us. No. No, John, I don't. Can't make out there. I'm right here. here. <laughs> Trust me, I'll have a cam. You're facing the wrong way. <laughs> no, I never found my cam, guys. No, uh, Polo Anderson, I didn't get the cam yet. I'm still waiting on you to get that footage for me. Thanks, so Whenever you get some time, dude, don't worry about it. Everybody's trying to help me find my, my GoPro. I lost a uh, nine mile the other day. Oh, really? Yeah. They were searching? No, they have it on camera. Oh. oh the mile okay. markers I need to walk between. <laughs> Yeah, they're pretty deep, guys. Risky on the side is like, is like watching Mario Andretti <laughs> watching you ride go karts. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Kitty's first track day? Yeah. It's yeah, it's Kitty's first track day. She's gonna be on a 50cc. Never been on a track. I rode this track, guys, right there, that turn right there. The, not this one here, but the one behind it is where I would low sided on my uh, my bike. Hey, for all y'all saying, I ain't never done no damn track day. Right over there, Streets of Willow. That's right, I guys. Slates, Streets of Willow. Look for the video online. That's right. I won't be searching enough. That's right, he was out here in Willow Springs. Dane is the flag girl today. <laughs> yes. There's Kitty, there's Lily. What's up, Mexican money? Hey, Kitty, where's your 360? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get in front of you guys real fast. Don't run me over. I told Kitty, like, where's your 360 cam? He's like, can we have cameras? I'm like, yeah, so kids get your 360 cam. Right. <laughs> so kids get a 360 on the track. We have, we have the, uh, we have the, uh, uh, the drone, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's got to get the, uh, the back belt, I guess, for the, oh, yeah. she's got to yeah. get the back belt first. I'm going to try. What? I don't know, Kitty. Kitty's got a, Kitty's got some competition in this guy right here. Kitty's got that competition right there. There's the, the coach. There goes Lily. There goes Lily, guys. <laughs> Stop. Kitty's gonna max pass them all. <laughs> uh, <laughs> crazy motherfuckers, I need a PC for this. <laughs> Mexican money's in the house, she said hi. 
<laughs> Raz said, glad there's no parked cars for Lily. <laughs> Is Risty in a cart? No, he's not in a cart. He's he's chilling. He's chilling right here. <laughs> you can a go kart. Yeah, kitty is kitty. <laughs> SJ says Lily's never gonna live down that parked car. <laughs> Mario, yes, it's kind of a private effect. To the left, listen. Grace said you can win this race even with a broken leg. <laughs> uh. Jay said uh, these pocket, but these bikes be perfect for Dana. She can flat foot them. Then yep. <laughs> Jay said, "Have fun, everybody." <laughs> Sorry, guys, I can't really zoom in. Dana's too tall. Are you alive? You didn't? Yeah, I never got the notification either. Huh? I just saw him go on. I never got the notification he went live. I know you guys are lucky right now. So <laughs> you guys picked a great day. Okay. I'm jealous right now. Every time I get out, it's like freaking 100 degrees already. I'm sweating nuts. <laughs> you can't zoom on YouTube. I don't know. I don't want. Oh yeah, you can. Okay, I just don't want to mess up and lose everything. Yeah, you can zoom on YouTube. I just don't yeah, want to lose. Your... You can okay. switch to selfie view too. All right. Yeah, Parfait said he didn't here. get the notification either. Pretty mug. Par Parfait said he never got the notification. He went live either. Parfait's all the way across the country. Well, the world. Wheels up says it got the notification. So it takes a while to get over the pond. <laughs> In the desert. No, 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 that's their street. I'm talking about on the street. I think, uh, I say Kitty crashes. No, I, I don't think so. No? No. Kitty's going to crash trying to push it. What's up, Timothy? Maybe. How you doing? Hey, Maybe. Jeff. Yeah, it's kind of slow-mo splits or uh, just learning the lines and getting the first run out. It's a siding lap. There you go. Hmm. Mexican money says sweating nuts right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Doja's in the house. <laughs> Love you from Portugal. You tell Mexican money what you thought of him when you Dude, Mexican money, <laughs> I, thought, I thought we were about to squabble Mexican money, dude. You come up. All thugged out, he goes, Corey, and I'm like, oh shit, who do I know you about to squabble? <laughs> With the gold about to squabble? And I was like, oh shoot. So I started taking my gear off and I was like, oh, it's Mexican money. I was like, oh, okay. All right, now I know who you are. <laughs> it's the A group, they're chomping at the bit. That guy has crashed in that BMW suit a lot. Yeah, he's bigger. Got R3. He has they want to know if you're going to do a track day when you get back on the bike. Yes. He said yes, he'll do a track day, guys. There are track day videos on there. I know y'all say there ain't, and I ain't never been to a track, but I got five track days. They're all on there. See if I can get a little closer than this turn, Lily coming up. 
Yee yee, Mason, when he said. <laughs> Guys, up in the air! Hands up in the air! Oh, they're getting off the track, so that's the time they had her going. They're exiting. Alright, now it's race lap. Yeah, they put your channel out, they put the, the link out there for your track day. You and Maxie. Great. Thanks. Oh, we're supposed to do that the first lap. Yeah. Back in the pit row, guys. So, um, are you are you using the gas? No, we should. We're gonna use the gas. They told them not to use the gas. No, <laughs> that was a misunderstanding. He's not bearing his throttle. Oh, okay. So you can use the gas with the brakes, but just try to keep it because the whole point of this. Yeah, make some money. Said he wants to do a track day too. Kitty, last one out, second one back. <laughs> oh, Lily! And there she goes. She's off. And there's Kitty being like supermoto right there. Turn one of the tires up. <laughs> out the crash. Out the crash. We'll get it all live on YouTube. <laughs> Tulsi said, what a nice thing to be able to do as a parent together. Yeah. <laughs> she okay. says, yep. Kitty did it. Yeah, Kitty wants to rip it. Yes, Kitty we know. Out there too, Jessica. Yeah. I don't have pants. You do need the pants. You have to have pants to I be good. You, yeah, I don't have them. For you. I'm in the middle of it. It's it's not easy to find that much leather to go across. Come on. Um, Alex, they're just practicing right now. Take Give them time. Hours to make a suit. What? What do you think they do with it? It's just stitching I leather together. Find, I literally went to Dinesi, tried on every single pair of pants that they have. None of them will go. They will go to here. I got a pair to go to here. And then I can't get them. Is Lily like, afraid to open up that throttle? She goes okay, fast on the pocket know. rocket. <laughs> I know. That's what I told her. I'm like, it goes just as fast as your 50. Like, She's like going. She's snailing it. She's snailing it. When she be hauling up the street. Yeah, when she has no she gear. When she has no gear, she hauls ass, but when she has gear on, she goes slow. She passed her into the car. Yes, she did. <laughs> she's probably just nervous. It's a little big. She's used to that tiny little thing. and It's not much bigger. No, it's not. The turns, too, maybe. I don't know, because she hauls butt on the 50 on the turns, too, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah it makes it money. Katie is too big for the bike. Although, but... remember, she hasn't been back on a bike since she crashed into the car. Really? I guess I should have put her on a little, made her ride it yesterday. As we say to everybody, they'll learn at their own pace. And yeah. I, I, I promise you, after there's some of the drills, next session that you record her on track. Oh, she'll be ripping it, yeah. yeah, yeah. She's but nervous. She just she ran into a parked car the other day. I saw the video. So, oh, so he saw the video. Oh, great. Oh, no. This guy follows and saw the video. Awesome. <laughs> Dude, she wiped out good. Well, Katie told her that she's going to waver through the intersection. And when she pulled off waver through the intersection. Yeah, John, it's me. So, John Spencer. And Tarnick is sitting on the car. I didn't realize it the last second. That's why you're going to be driving. Well, Katie's going to be driving. Well, Katie's going to be driving. No, I, I'm, I was here. I missed it. <laughs> I wish I could. I'm, I'm seeing the live video right now. <laughs> I'll look at it. What? Paige is leaving her behind. Oh, no. What? What? You know what? She knew Lily would do that, speed up to catch her. Yep. Lily was going to follow her. I heard her kick it up a little bit. Yeah, she picked up a little bit. She picked up a little bit. Kitty's gonna get whooped by the instructor. <laughs> nah, I think so. Yes. Brandon, she's doing good.
Do you even wheelie, bro? You can beat everybody on there. Come on, man. Watch out for the little one in the white suit in the back, guy. SJ says she wants you to adopt her. Ah. Kids, with all the kitty uh, toys Jessica and Kitty has, I wanted her to adopt me. SJ <laughs> got toys. Get out of here. SJ got four bikes. I know. I saw her page. Oh, Nat's in the house. Hey, Nat. We're just chilling here, Nat. Did you hear me? SJ wants you to adopt her. With SJ all the, wants me to adopt her? With all the toys that you and Kitty have. What? <laughs> I got enough people. I got four daughters already. Ugh. And don't forget all them dogs. 13 dogs you got. Give them time, Dan. It's just the beginning. It's just, they're learning. And some of the, some of the people are first time out here ever riding a bike. Picked up the camera girl, she was out in the middle of the track. Had to bring her back in. <laughs> so she'll work for her adoption. <laughs> Jeff is trucking, says nice. Or Nat says hi Natalie. Dime bags in the house. What up? What up, dime bezel? You look, wow. you look maxi up big time driving those bikes around. Yeah, he did. And but then he had to leave the Africa twin at freaking stroke of diesel. Because he couldn't fit it in the um our, uh the trailer. He only had only fit three bikes, so uh, Africa Twin got left at Stroker Diesel. What happened? He had way more than that. Well, has, Maxi got in his trailer now. He has the R6, he has the 1000, and he has the, uh, the Brilla, the, the Tuona. And the four, I believe, and the 400. Yeah. It has, has her, uh, Jane's bike. Couldn't fit them all in there. And you see the, see the little boy out there in the red suit? He's wearing uh, cowboy boots. Yeah, he's riding in cowboy boots. Uh, <laughs> he's shredding sh in the cowboy boots. Awesome. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe she has full pin on that bike, but it just doesn't not go that fast. Maybe. Blacktop's in the house. What? Max. Here. Max versus Black's in the house. He said, let's go, track day. Uh, yeah, he a little bark. He needs some training. Yeah, he does. Ah. Like, he, he said he tried to slice up 600s, but I think the 600 bailed him out when he ran out of gas. <laughs> Look at Kitty getting down. There you go. And there's that little dude rolling around in a cowboy boots. Yeah, we 
have masks. I know. There's that little boy in the cowboy boots ripping it out there. Why aren't you out here, Blacktop? Oh, oh, in the Risty wants to know why you're not out here. He says you need training. These are perfect bikes for you, Blacktop. We only have 134 likes on us. Come on, guys, get some more likes on here. And here comes Kitty, and here comes uh, Lily. Hey, okay. Okay, good, good. Good <laughs> Blacktop said, "Pay for his track day. He'll come get the training." <laughs> <laughs> you heard it from the man himself. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Okay. Here comes Lily. And uh, just hit the kill. Just hit the key. You don't need to hit anything else. Just the key. Go ahead and turn them down. Kick stand. Down. That's right, Alex. Everybody needs a booster up right now. And uh, we'll have a little debrief on that first session. We'll wait for everybody else to join us. Blacktop's laughing. He says, I got money. <laughs> Blacktop getting roasted. <laughs> Alex says, tell Lily how she's doing. Build up her confidence. Well, yes, it's either yes or no. Okay. Um, and then we'll have the next session. Just hit the kills. Just hit the key. You don't need to hit anything else. Just the key. Dude, I would love to. SJ, I would love to. Hey, guys, can you bring the bikes in? We'll do a debrief over here, please. Jeff. How you feeling, Lily? Over here. Stretch. What's wrong, Lil? Scary? Is it? What? You do faster on the pocket bike without yeah. gear. <laughs> you dropped the bike already? Yeah. No. Uh, Where? If we didn't catch it, oh, that's why. That's why you need to get your camera. Where's your 360? Hold on, Kitty went down <laughs> on the car track on a 50 cc, <laughs> and, I, and I, I told Kitty to put her 360 on. <laughs> Everybody's laughing at you, kidding. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna probably ride to I'm gonna probably ride to Albertsons and go get her some Pedialyte then. Here you go, Eddie. I'm gonna have to give you back the stream. Dana, I'm gonna have to give it back to someone. I'm gonna go get her some Pedialyte at the at the store. She's gonna need it. We have tons of Gatorade. That's the same thing. I have to go. Here, I have to go over there right now. Found a water bottle. So what do you think? Those little bikes are twitchy, huh? Uh huh. Dang it! The hardest thing to do is make it go on a straight line down the straightaway. You breathe on it, it moves over three feet. How did you feel up there? Not so comfortable? Mm -hmm. Okay. You wanna take your helmet off real quick? Yeah, get a little bit. Get, get some, some hair. Out. Okay. Come on in a little tight. Got blue hair. It keeps the heat in every time. It does it for me every time. I stopped going purple back in the 80s. I used to have a big old victory spike in the world. Uh -huh. That was nice. Uh, Lulu. Uh, we're going to talk to everybody and see where we're at. And then after the drills, we're going to kick you out on session again. Hopefully, you'll see some progress. Okay, uh, okay who's ready? Jordan, you first. Tell me about your first session. Right, SJ? She's doing good. I'm going to try to talk quiet. Okay. Did it feel less twitchy at the end of the session? Yeah. You know it, crazy. Uh, let's see. Um, 
Hey. hey. Yes. Um, okay, so. It's fine. I'm a little less tired than I'm used to, but I got to use more body position to make up for that. Okay. <laughs> Cool. I saw some things. I know you're an hey, Mark. writer compared to some here on uh, some things with the transition. Um, uh, it'll be it'll be interesting to see how you take the O and the figure eight so, Ooh. Hey, Tim. Here, how are you? Anything out there? No, no, no. But before before I give my feedback, oh, I, I want to know your. your I'm the, I've played around with fifty for many and thirty. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Cool. It felt like I was going. Uh, Lily, how about you now? Any, 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 any thoughts? So, I'm, like, I'm usually on, like, a tiny, but, but I'm not usually on, like, that tall one, so I'm, like, kind of adjusting to it, and okay. I'm playing it safe. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. That's smart, smart. Um, what was the scariest thing for you out there? What was the most fun thing for you out there? The tons was scary. Okay. But the straight path. I saw you walk on the throttle a little bit. I think when Paige went by it, I think you were motivated to get on the throttle a little bit, right? Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, okay, cool, cool. All right, nicely done, first session. Um, Ronan, how about you? You look like a bunny wheel. Yeah, that's, that's a common answer, so I'm okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Very unstable, I like that. Thanks, yeah. Natalie. Yeah. Now, those 10-inch wheels don't give you much gyroscopic stability. Well, when you came in, I double checked. I could tell by your motor you might have been a second. So yeah, I confirmed it later. So, but just be sure, and, and I think Mac mentioned it. The drills are no going to be in second gear. Anytime you're taking class. the bike out, please make sure it's in third. Two things can happen. One, you're not going to enjoy yourself as much out there. Two, uh, you can burn the motor out. So, okay. Uh, anything else you want to add to your? Okay. Lulu, yeah. anything from you? You have fun? Not really. Not Whoa. really fun. I don't know. I'm not like this yet. I'm still trying it out. That's okay. You know what? It's an honest answer. So, so here's the thing. There, you know, I heard the oh, that's fine. We've had people who are hardcore skeptics of this. But you know what? I had a, a real quick story. We had a Ducati guy come out. Went out on the first session like this. He said, he was about ready to tie me up. After the fourth or fifth session, he came out with a big smile on his face. Not saying that this is going to happen for you, for sure. But he says, oh, I'm glad I stayed. He stayed till the end of the day. And, you know, so he, Thank you for the super it's chat. Okay to not like it. Say again? It's also okay to not like it. Yeah, it's okay not to not like it. But no. Hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, you know, like I said earlier, everybody's going to learn at their own pace. You're the awesome, Socrates. The, the track, off track, on track. Um, hopefully some things will click. Yeah, this is all the technical part. So once we get through this and we start applying what we're doing to drills, when you carry that out onto the track, it becomes a lot more fun. So, all right, okay, um, does that cover every, all of our clinic riders? Yep. Okay. Yeah, we hunt yeah, rabbits. So what we're going to do yes. now is we're going <laughs> to talk about this next drill, which is the foundation. It's the core Where's my gun? of everything else. With my weight, I so, haven't said it before. I'll hand it over to Max. Um, so, what we're going to talk about now is, a, is an O drill or a circle drill, and we do a rounded cone. So you're going to you're going to hear me repeat these same um, basic elements over and over and over again. So we'll be doing it out there. I'll do a circle drill demo. Did you want me to do it here? Do you want me to do it out there? Um, it to you? They're going to be on track, so we can do it. We over better do it over there. Yeah. So I'm going to take one of these bikes out. And we'll go show you the circle drill and get the demo. So you can bring chairs if you want. You can set up in the shade right at the end of the awning, and I'll be in the sunny side right there talking. Uh -huh. We got to move the chairs again. You're sacrificing for us. Thank you. Absolutely. Got to take care of the crew. I'm just staff. Just ketchup only. No, cheeseburger ketchup only.
Burgers together. Hmm? I'll come back for this stuff. Moving. We're moving. Excuse me, baby. Is Jess going? I think she's staying here. I'm going to do my best. I don't know. Going to Tom's? Yeah. Okay, folks. Mm. You can just stay in the shade and be comfortable. Max going to just talk to you through the drill. Yeah, and he's going to give a demo. Up. No and onions. And we'll break up into groups and get everybody situated. I know uh, it's not as hot as some of you might thought, but still, we got to conserve energy, be efficient with our time. We're appreciating, you know, you being all geared up. So we're going to be This is the foundation. This is where it's going to start. So, balls of your feet on the peg up against the engine case. You're going to go outside knee to the tank. That's going to brace the tank. Both feet are on the pegs up against the engine case. My outside knee to the tank, inside knee to the apex. I'm going to split my crotch and I'm going to be a couple inches off on the inside. Highly recommend another element is if you're riding your regular street bike or you're riding on the 50, try standing up and put all your weight on one peg or all your weight, say the right peg or the left peg, and you'll feel the bike wander as you shift your body weight on the peg. It's much like riding a bicycle without hands. You shift your body and the bike turns. We're trying to do the same thing here. We're trying to move or adjust the bike's direction with as little input on the bars as possible. So if I'm leaning all on the right hand peg, the bike will automatically want to turn to the right. It's not about muscling or counter steer. It's use your body weight to turn the bike. So we always start out, balls of your feet on the pegs, up against the engine case, okay? Outside knee goes to the tank. That lets us grip the whole outside of the bike. I've got to hold the whole bike with that leg, like a big hug. I'm holding onto that bike frame, chassis, tank. And that inside knee goes to the apex. Try and get a true perpendicular with your knee off the side of the bike because these are tiny bikes and two because we're turning a really tight radius circle. This is tighter than you're ever gonna turn on your Gixxer or a standard sport bike. So these are small bikes. We're gonna go 90 degree triangle perpendicular with your knee. Your weight is gonna be out there on that on the forward end of the peg. What we're 
trying to do is we have two equal tiny contact patches of rubber between the front wheel and the back wheel. But if I sit on this 50 normally, is my weight equally distributed between the front wheel and the back wheel? Or is it more on the front wheel? Or is it more on the back wheel? It's more on the back wheel. So if I have two equal size contact patches, don't I want to use them both? So if I put my feet where the pegs are, I'm stable for now, right here. If I crouch down in this position, like I'm going to jump or spring, I'm still just as stable for now. That's pretty much the body position we're looking for here, that crouch that equally weights the forward and the back half of my body and orients me to the bike from where the foot pegs are. So again, repetitive. Balls to feet on the peg up against the engine case, outside knee to the tank, inside knee to the apex, a good couple inches off the side to the inside where I'm going with that, with that turn, okay? The next thing you want to be aware of is as you start to turn in, you may feel your elbow cramp up. It'll be in your hip or something. If I grab the grip like this, that's as far as my 60-year-old body lets my wrist go. And so I end up jammed up by my elbow. As soon as I hold that throttle like it's a screwdriver that I'm trying to turn, now my forearm and the far end are in a straight line. Look what happens to my elbow. Here I am, bound up, screwdriver grip. It immediately allows me to open up my body position and bring my, my head into a lower position. So if I had a bolt and I handed you a wrench and I told you tighten up that bolt and I gave you a wrench that was this long, so you have a whole lot of leverage, right? You can tighten that bolt up, okay? In a corner, the higher you sit on the bike is the more force you give centrifugal energy to keep you out of the turn. So if you want to maximize the bike's ability to come through the corner, you have to get that screwdriver grip, open up your body position, and get your head down low. You now shorten the leverage that centrifugal has, centrifugal force has to keep you out of the turn. When we get going on the cone drill, it's going to be balls of your feet on the pegs, up against the engine case, outside knee to the tank, inside knee to the apex, full cheek off, screwdriver grip, and that brings you down low. Now I'm weighting the front wheel. I'm, I'm pretty well equally balanced or as close as I can get with these big tall bars. And it gives me that ability to, to drop my center of gravity. Lower center of gravity wins every time. If you're going around the corner and you're sitting up here, centrifugal force has all this leverage to keep me out of the turn. If you want to maximize your ability to go through the corner, how many people have said, oh crap, in their helmet going around the corner on paper? Oh crap, somebody that. You realize in that point that you probably weren't at 60% of what the tires or the suspension on that bike are capable of. And all you had to do is screwdriver grip and drop your center of gravity about four or five inches and the bike will immediately turn that corner sharper than you thought it could and you'll make the turn. That'll save your life. So think about that for a moment. It's the screwdriver grip, it's balancing Better be paying for this instruction. position so that you're equally weighting both tires. It's gripping that tank and bike that the outside knee goes to the tank. Inside knee goes to the apex. Don't get jammed up here. If you're stuck on your elbow, screwdriver grip that thing. Get it out in front of you. Because that lets you bring your head down low. You're really trying to get your, your head. This is 10% of my body weight. So I'm 200 pounds in here with a helmet on. This thing's pushing 20 or 22 pounds. It's all my, full of my ego. <laughs> Got to get that thing down low and in the corner. You watch a GP racer. They're not trying to get down low. They're trying to get underneath the bike. You watch them drag an elbow. Their head is equal height to the tank. If you can get under the bike, you have a lower center of gravity, no center of gravity wins. Ask her. I've seen her drag elbow last year at 13 years old. No center of gravity wins, trust me. So, at the point, those are all the body position elements. So, balls of your feet on the peg, up against the engine case. I told you you were going to hear me say this over and over again, right? Outside knee to the tank, inside knee to the apex, give me a full cheek or even a little more off. The more I cheat off the side, so if I'm sitting upright on the bike and I lean over, eventually, instead of dragging my knee, I'm going to drag the peg. And what happens when I touch the peg down? I unweight the rear wheel and the rear end washes out. If I sit on the back of the bike back here and I try to turn in, I have no weight on the front end, it starts looking like a basketball. We call it double dribbles, and you'll see the front wheel bounce going through the corner right before it washes out. 
So again, there's a reason for this. Ball to the feet on the tank. If you're out here on the end of the peg, you wipe your foot off. Oh, it doesn't even look comfortable sitting here, let alone at six or seven miles an hour with a bike attached to me, and now I whiskey throw up and drag myself around the parking lot. So don't put your foot on the end of the peg. It's got to be up against the engine case. If you want to kind of duck foot it on the side diagonally, I'm okay with that, but it's the ball of the foot. You get the heel stop out there, guess what you do? You hit the brake or you hit the gear shift. Balls of the feet on the peg, up against the engine case. Outside knee to the tank, inside knee to the apex. Give me a full cheek off. By coming forward with that screwdriver grip, I'm weighting the front wheel and it gives me that opportunity to get down low and inside. Now I've equally weighted the front and rear wheel, giving myself a nice open body position, diminish centrifugal force's ability to pull me out of the corner. Does all of that make sense? You have something? No. Okay. The next element, so that's it for body position. Everything can be broken down into finer and finer increments. Mike has a ton of insight when it comes to that lean angle bike, what we call the righty bike. You get a chance to talk to Young or Mike or Jeff. All of these guys have years of experience. I've been riding a total of six years. I come to all of my knowledge from a premise of ignorance, and I try and learn as much as I can and bring in the honesty of what i found at work. I'm not the end-all, be-all, but these are the these are the absolute beginning elements that will make you success in what we do. So once we have body position, I'm going to repeat it one more time for you. Balls of the feet on the pegs, up against the engine case, outside knee to the tank, inside knee to the apex, pull cheek off, screwdriver grip down low, chin in. I want you to lead into the corner. When I'm going fast on that little goat that I have with the bars turned down, my chin is through the corner before the bike arrives. That's where you want to be. You watch these guys in GP or Superbike racing, their head is through the corner and the bike is right next to them. But their chin goes through the corner first. Okay? The next thing we're going to get to is throttle control. So when we're on an apex, say we're out in street riding, canyon carving, canyon chasing, you called it. I love that. If you're into a corner and you see your body position is correct and you're, you've got your balls, your feet are in, your knees are correct, you're in it, but I'm a little tight. What do you do in that moment? You do two things. You can sit up a little bit, give centrifugal force a little bit more element to pull you out of that corner and that tight apex. You can also add a little bit of throttle. Smooth throttle control is what we're looking for because we're going to try and ride a circle around the cone. Now, this cone, I've got some elevation change. I got two or three feet uphill, downhill. So I'm going to have to be a little bit of throttle on the uphill side and a little diminished throttle as I come on the downhill side so I can maintain my distance to the apex, which in this turn is the cone. The cone's my apex. I'm going to try and hold a consistent distance all the way around that cone. So I'm managing that with throttle. Down here where we're doing them, it's a little flatter, and you'll find it's a little easier. You're looking for that note. What's the engine saying? I don't have a tap up here. I'm not looking at but I'm going to try and find that exact note. I'm going to demo this for you. So it's finding that note with the engine. Try and hold that. If your coach or your instructor, Mike, Jeff, Young, or myself, Jeff, to raise the throttle, they physically want to hear the engine note. Of that. Bring it up. You can hear the engine. And for some people, that that is so much on track. I, you've done track days before, and, and Dave, you've done track days. You're not looking at the speedo. You're not looking at the tack. You better be looking at your apexes and your entry and exit points and that. You don't look down at the gauges, because if you look down, you already missed the reference point. Look at that in the canyon. Right? So the first thing my dad told me was, son, I'll never tell you to not ride, but do me a favor. Put a piece of tape over the speedo and go ride with your friends, because don't look down at the gauges. Look at your friends. If they're riding the correct line, they'll lead you through the corner. Don't worry about change, by all means, add a little throttle coming uphill and be ready to diminish a little coming downhill. We're trying to maintain our speed so we hold that distance to the cone. Everybody square with that? Does that make sense? We'll get to apply it here in just a minute out on drill if I ever stop talking. <laughs> the last part of this, so we've gone body position, we've gone throttle control, now we're going to go visual acuity. And Paige was kind enough to come out and go shoulder to shoulder with me. I'd highly recommend everybody here that rides, if you haven't done it, or if you're with somebody who's a new rider, get them shoulder to shoulder, have them look you in the eye and walk. 
perpendicular to the line of sight. So 90 degrees to the line of sight. If you're looking at somebody off your shoulder, they're looking at you and walk that way. That is physically what you're doing when you're taking a corner and you're apexing. I'm going to be looking at that cone. The bike's going to be going that way. And I'm staring at the cone. And it's very disconcerting until you get used to it. So all these things, um, Lulu, riding mini is disconcerting. It's not stable. It's twitchy. It's hot. It's dang, the thing's tiny. Right? So these are all the things we're trying to work through to make what seemed uncomfortable at first more familiar. We become familiar with it, and then we start to gain success with it in the technical aspect of what we're doing. And this translates. Everything we do on this translates to the Ninja or the Jixer or whatever else it is that we're going to go ride. The Pentagali doesn't matter. All of these same basic premise absolutely transfer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it gets expensive. Yeah. Right? Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and stand. You're making fun of helmet, aren't you? Um, that's fine. I'll give you a demo of what this looks like. Oh, the battery bank. Well man is getting under your elbow. Uh this for some real world stuff for you see on TV. The reason why the F one cars are as low as they are, lower center guys. Why you don't see Moto GT guys or gals in the top racers riding up like this as they're going through the corners? Same thing. You want that lower center of gravity for quicker corners. Also, when we get to transitions, um, we'll talk about that same thing. When you're when you're looking through the corner, keeping your head low in the transition. Some riders will be in that corner and they have a transition. They'll bring their head up, and that's inefficient. So you bend to that. straightaway that leads to another left-hand turn or right-hand turn, they'll come out of the corner, they'll immediately come out a little further and veer right just to keep centrifugal force and keep the suspension compressed and then go back the other way to load that corner and go in. But why are they doing S's? To keep the suspension down. To try and maximize that low center of gravity. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to talk you through this. I'm going to try and hit every one of these elements that we just discussed in five laps around Sounds like a picnic. As long as he fights, mm. good. Mac is so sweet, even his earwax is, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so again, for drills, I'm going to be in second gear. So I'm going to push this thing in neutral. I'm going to roll it. There's one. There's two. Okay. Pedcock on, key on. Let's give it a shove. His eyes do not leave. Nice. Lily gonna drag knee today. What? sitting right there it's ripe it wants to be scraped it's got it's itchy it needs a scratch
circle drill for a session. Then I got to get out of these things. They're yeah, heaters. You get out <laughs> um, yeah, I'll go jump in my other leathers real fast. Okay. So um, what I recommend is we're going to just use one bike per station. So uh, I'd say number 12 is working pretty good. It's the bike with the, the blue hose. Oh, is that here? No, no. Alright, they're about to do the circle drills. Lily's going to drag me for the first time. Yes. What do you mean? You got to have positive affirmation. Yeah. Dana would be dragging. I want to do circles. Pull out your 500 and just bust in. Here's how you do it. Huh? What do you mean cruise around? What? You guys hear that? She crashed into a car. She crashed into a car last night. Uh, <laughs> he looks at you like you're crazy. Oh wait, you are crazy. What one? What first? What's that gonna do? Yep. So, one thing I didn't mention earlier, and uh, some of the books aren't cool with being videoed. So, oh, okay. okay. Alright, well, some people don't want to be videoed here, so we're going to have to cut it off. Hey, Corey called you. So, I'm going to have to say goodbye to you guys. It's been fun. I wish I could stay up, but some people don't want to be filmed. We're going to respect their wishes. Some people don't want to be filmed. All right, well, wish Willie luck. There will be a post video. There'll be a post video. Dana took a lot of videos. Kitty will be putting out a video. Lily might be even posting a video on her TikTok. We'll see. We'll catch you on the next episode. Those mothers are smart.
smoke and they're perforated and they those two Thank you so ones, much. Man, Appreciate really all your support. Everybody's no, wishing no, you luck, bad. Lily. About oil at hundred plus, but you gotta everybody's wish everybody's on your side. Six miles an hour at eighty degrees. Dana's getting wild out there. Yeah, we'll get to you later. I'll see you on Twitch, Nat. Let you know how it goes. Alright, peace, peace, everybody. Love y'all. Bye-bye.